We'll be guiding you through how to fix the network cable unplugged error in Windows. If you find this useful, consider subscribing and liking the video and let's get into this. First off, before we get into the methods, try checking whether your ethernet cable is fully plugged in in both your PC and router. If it is, let's get into the first method. For the first method, go to the bottom left of your screen and press the search button. We will be going into the control panel by writing network connections. Then open up the application at the top. Then right here, we can try enabling and disabling our ethernet connection by pressing right click, then press the disable button. Then press right click again and press the enable button. Now check if your internet connection is fixed, if it isn't, go to the next method. Next up, we will be changing our duplex speed, since that might help our PC recognize our ethernet cable. To do that, resume in the network connections application that we opened up previously, right click your ethernet connection, then select properties. Once you do that, scroll down and locate 2OS packet scheduler, and then press the configure button then press yes. Then once this opens up, go over to advanced right here, select speed and duplex, go over to value, select it. First off, try changing to 100 megabytes per second, half duplex, then press the OK button. If you're still experiencing issues, press this button again, then change it to 10 megabytes full duplex and press the OK button. You can try using some of the other values as well and see if they help you. Before we continue, if you are still experiencing the issue, in this application, under network, you should see the name of your ethernet connection. Make sure to note this down because we will need it for some methods further down the video. For the next method, we will be using two commands that will help us reset our network settings and reset our network cache. To do that, go over to the bottom left and press the search button and in here write CMD. Then go over to the application at the top, right click it and press run as administrator. After the application opens up, the first command that we will use is ipconfig slash flush DNS. This command helps make sure your computer gets fresh and updated information when it connects to websites and other devices on the internet. Press the enter button. Then the next command that we will use is net sh pinsock reset this command helps your computer's internet connection work better by resetting important network settings press the enter button and as you can see it's successful now try checking if the issue continues if it does go to the next method now for the next method we will try updating the drivers of our ethernet to do that go to the bottom left of your screen and press the search button and in here write device manager then open up the application at the top and once you open up the application, go over to Network Adapters and look for the name that we noted down previously in the video. For me, it was this one. Right click on it and then press Update Driver. Right here, you can choose whether you want to search automatically for drivers or browse your computer for drivers if you have downloaded them previously. I would recommend using the option at the top. If you see this pop up saying that the best drivers are already installed, Go to the next method, but if an installation occurs, check whether the issue has been fixed. Next up, we will continue in the device manager once again, but this time we will be uninstalling our network adapter. To do that, press right click, then go over to properties, then go over to driver and press uninstall device. Don't worry, uninstalling your device doesn't mean it will be gone forever but you will just need to restart your PC for it to be reinstalled. If the issue still keeps coming up, you can try restarting your PC and router. To restart your PC, go to the bottom left of your screen and press the Windows button, then press the Power button and press the Restart button. And to restart your router, you might want to check if there is a button on the back, then just press that button, but if there isn't, you can just unplug it from the power outlet for a couple of seconds and then plug it back in. If none of the previous methods helped you, you can go over to the last resort, which is the fact that your cable might be malfunctioning. So if you have another Ethernet cable, I would recommend to try it out. That is it for this video. I hope we helped. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.